Hey guys, I'm back with another video today. Today we're going to do my pretty little Pompey lineup. I recorded this already once. And it got copyright claimed. But they like doing that to my channel apparently, so. Well, first nominee we have Alex Bass. A very good young goalkeeper, obviously. Been obviously made a breakthrough year at Pompey. He's making three saves. And he's 22, I want to say. So. Next up we have Craig McGillivray, again a very good goalkeeper, 26, 27 now, but obviously because he's very good, other teams are going to look towards him, obviously he's not playing, so he'd potentially leave, but obviously we've got this season to come yet, and obviously he did stay for the winning penalty at Wembley, they make us win, but he, we scored after that to win. So, in playing goal, I've gone for Alex Bass. So, for right back, we got Wes Harden, Birmingham right back. I think he's born for Birmingham as well. A very good. He's more of an attacking fullback, which we already had with Ross McCorry, which didn't really work, you could say. But again, he's a very he's good at defending as well. He's obviously fast, so he can get back and forward. But he's more of a right wing back. But he'd be good. He'd be good as a right back. Also, we have James Bolton, who he hasn't really been that good this year. If I had to be honest, but you know he's done he's done his job. He missed a sitter in that game, but oh well. Also, did score later on, so he paid up for it. He really paid up for it. He's not too bad, and obviously. Um, he Topper did this to Lucas Torella. Which I didn't sadly go to the game, I did get a ticket, not sadly, but I think, yeah, he's not been the best player. But obviously, this year has not been the best for us. Obviously, I prefer Anton Walks, but he's gone to Atalanta, so. I've right back, I've gone with Wes Harden, I think that's a big thing we need to improve on. So, centre backs, we obviously signed Sean Raggett, is our only permanent sign we've made this year. I'm not the biggest fan of him, I have to be honest, but I know a lot of Pompey fans are. However, that goal was very nice. The first one, no. That one, very good, I have to be honest. Um, next, we have um, Paul Downing. I'd rather not talk about him. He's not good at all, sorry. Um, Jack Watmore, he's just unreal. He's apparently the manager wants to send him out on loan. I, if he sends him out on loan, I think we mid table. When he's fit, he's arguably one of the best players in the team, in the squad. And obviously, I'm a Jack Watmore fanboy, have been since 2016, so, you know. But, yeah, I, I do like him. A very good player, obviously very young, 23 years of age. I think he, he will be good. And now we have Dinel Silutsu. Sorry for this clip, I couldn't really find much about him. Um, he's a Chelsea youngster from Cameroon and England. And um, he's very good. He is a very good centre half. Obviously, he's just playing for England. And um, he's just mainly got everything. He's fast. I think he's six foot four. So he's tall, strong. He's very fast. I know. I think one of them. I can't remember who said it, but he said he's one of the fastest in training. I mean, Jody Morris, last year Chelsea. He's always a very good at passing. So he'd be a very good centre back. He's only 18 as well, so for the future. He obviously did get called up for the Champions League squad, so he's obviously a very good player. Next we have Kipri from Wigan. Um very good centre back again. I think mainly this one. Capri would be a very good option. He's like a tall, strong, fast. He's twenty two years old, so he's young. But the only bad thing is the Wigan got relegated, so I don't know if he'll join, but they are in administration, so if any money, maybe we can get good old Capri. You know, he's very good on corners as well, and we lack that at the moment, but for Santa Max, gone for Jack Walmart and Cyprus Capri. I forgot his first name. Left backs, we do need a left back. Um, that's a very good ball in for Brandon Mason. I can't really find any more clips. Brandon Mason's played for Coventry. He obviously got promoted. But he hasn't been playing. Obviously Steve Seddon. 
who is very good. Steve Seddon obviously gone back to Birmingham. Apparently, we have had a bid rejected for him though. Uh, he'd be very good though. Obviously, he got a goal and assist in that game. A very good ball win. Obviously, Lee Brown. Obviously, our voice captain. He is a very good player. Don't get me wrong, but he just lacks the pace, in my opinion. For the left back, I've gone for Seddon slash Mason. If we can get Seddon, I'll put him over the top. Bryn Morris, he's only done one good thing for the club, and that was this, which he nearly, nearly missed. Tom Naylor, our captain. What good assist when Jack Watmore, may I say. And Tom Naylor finishes it off. But he's very good from corners, it seems. You'll see the next clips. Another, again, another header against Coventry. A very good header that as well. That was last year. Uh, this was this year. Good header, and then fumbled in. I think Naylor. He's. I think he's great. He deserves. He's very good. And also, this is Tom Naylor too. One strike. If that went in. Bro. But we are moving on. This we have moved on. By the way, this is Ben Close. And um, we want all the wonder strikes. Yeah. Naylor couldn't do it. Ben Close good. I think Ben Close, he's good. When he's good, he's good. When he's bad, he's bad. It sounds stupid, but it's so true. If he had a good game, he's going to play really good. If he had a bad game, he's going to be absolutely shite. But I like Ben Close. He's a good player. Obviously, came from the academy. He just lacks a bit of experience, I guess. But he is number eight now, so I never know. Could have a bigger impact. Andy Cannon is unreal. This is the only clip I can find of him. He's unreal. I'd He's probably one of the best players in the club as well. He's unbelievable. Next player is Panzu, I want to say. A very good centre mid. I think we've missed out on Cameron McGeehan, obviously. Who, McGeehan was unreal. And I'm so angry that we missed out on him. I think Panzu would be the replacement that we needed. I think he's more an attacking centre mid, but he's out more normal centre mid, it's out and out centre mid. But I think he's got like a shot on him and he can sort of tackle. So a very good player. And that goal there, mmm. Mmm, mmm, Panzu. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's very good at shooting it seems. He also got played Luton, Luton did stay up. But I don't know if he I don't know if he won the player of the season or anything, it does seem very good. But yeah, he seems like a very good player, and I think he would be the, the ideal replacement because obviously, unless Ben Close is going to step up to the occasion, but and Pandu does seem very good. Yeah, it would be interesting to see. Obviously, we have got a wage cap, but we could still say we could still sell players, and obviously loans and stuff. But we never know. Gareth Evans is, yeah, he's unreal. The only thing, mate, it's annoying about Evans, he's 32. Or going on to 32. So, obviously, that's a bit of an issue, but he's a very good player. But if you saw these clips of him scoring, you'd be like, yep, he's starting every game. He's very fast, don't get me wrong, he's rapid, good at shooting, good at passing, set pieces. Especially penalties. Penalties are unreal. He never misses a pen. I, don't, I think I missed it. Watched him miss one pen, and he scored a goal in that same game. So he's very good, but it's just his age. But he's a very good player, Gareth Evans, but it's just annoying. But for midfielders, we've got my Cannon, Naylor, and, and Panzu if we can get him. Ryan Williams. He just hasn't had the best. Season for Pompey, he's obviously been playing. I I prefer Marcus Harness, but he's not too bad. He's not terrible, Williams. A lot of people prefer him actually. Harness, again. He's um, I really like Harness. He's had a very good season, I think. Uh, is he third top goal scorer? I think he might be third top goal scorer. Or fourth. 
But anyways, he's had a very good season for us again. I'm very good at finishing. Not good for a winger. So, he... I think he needs to play more. Um, now we go for Malik Wilkes, who plays for Hull. Hull did get relegated. I don't know if he's on loan. I think he might be on loan at Barnsley still. I'm not sure. I didn't really look. My mate told me he was, but... I don't think he was. I think he signed to the Hull permanently, but I'm not sure. But I think, even when he was at Barnsley, I was like, mate, hey, he's good. I think he did score against us too. Is it Barnsley play for? Doncaster, Doncaster, sorry. It's a line Doncaster, and I was like, yeah, he's good. He's obviously fast, good at shooting, passing. He's very quite strong as well. He's 5'11", so not a great amount for a winger. But, yeah, he will be a good player, but I think we're only give him if Curtis leaves. Now we've got, I can't say his name, I'm not going to bother saying his name, the Birmingham left wing. <laughs> I will put it on the screen somewhere. Left mid. Uh, I don't know how old he is. I don't know much about him, but that's what he's done. But Pompey were linked to him. Um, Ronan Curtis. Yep. Yeah, I think we just need to try everything in our power to keep hold of him. I think he was our player, best player this year. Also, we did lose Christian Burgess. But uh, Burgess did play. Burgess did play. That Don't get me wrong. But Ronan Curtis was just unstoppable. He was like the Jamal Lowe last year. That's how I saw him this year. Jamal Lowe left and he was like, okay, I'll carry over. And some of these goals, that goal was in 33 seconds. Half the people weren't even in the stadium. I was there, I saw it. But I picked my, my, my uncle I went with, he missed it because he went to the toilet. So, but I think Pompey need to try for their power just to keep him because if they don't keep him, then it could be a, a bumpy ride next year. And on the wingers, I've gone for Bruno Cuts on the left and Wilk slash Harms on the right. Now for the strikers, Ellis Harrison. Um, I wouldn't when he first signed, I really liked him. I'm gonna be honest, he was like. Because my mates didn't like him, and I was like, oh, no, I have faith in him. And then over time, I, I, Marquis signed, and I preferred Marquis, and then obviously Harrison, because they've done a bit better. But I, I think Marquis had like, high expectations. Harrison, Topper didn't. But that goal, it's Doncaster, obviously meant to win the game, I think, the 89th minute, 90th minute, potentially. He's obviously very good. Now we're on to Armado Broja, Chelsea youngster again. A very good player. I think he's 18, 17. But like I said, a loan, or I don't think we get it on the permanent, but a loan deal would obviously extend his career and obviously help Pompey a lot. He got called up to the Champions League against Bayern, I believe, as well, with Simu. So he would be a good player. Purchase, but I don't think we'll be able to buy him. Maybe a lot, definitely a lot. I think we'd definitely be able to get him on loan. But I said Pompey are actually looking for a striker. But if they look, and he's obviously, he's, like I said, he's 17 18. He has so much potential. He's actually from Albania, even though he speaks fluent English. So I think it'd be a good signing, though. Now we have Big John. Big John. What can I say about Big John? Very good again this year. I think many people didn't think he hit expectations, but I really liked him. And I think you think he's come from Doncaster and come to Pompey. He's played with like one player who didn't play the whole season. And he managed to go to Wembley, so I'm not complaining. I don't think he's even that bad, if I have to be honest. I think he, well, I think he's top, he's our top goal scorer this year. So uh, I have faith in Big John. He's a very good player. And guys, thank you for watching. This is my lineup. If you want more of this, like and subscribe. Thank you.